Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is a very, very windy day here in San Antonio. Um, anyway, I have um, a few things to share with you guys. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome to my channel, Insanely Erica. I live in the great city of San Antonio. I am living my best life at 52. I just turned 52. Um, and I like to share a little bit of my life. I love to share a little bit of what I purchase. So welcome to my channel. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into this really quick video. I um, shared with you guys in my last video a really cute pink tank that I bought from Aloe. This is the black one. Um, I'll stand up and show you what this looks like really quick. My sweatpants are like super dirty right now. I took the girls on a ride and the car and so I have like doggy hair everywhere um, but this is the tank here as you can see it is cropped but it is very comfortable I won't be working out in these only because I think I'm just gonna lounge around in these these sweats are from H&M I've had them forever and I have to share this with you guys and I don't know if you guys feel the same way but I feel like I'm gonna have separation anxiety from my sweats this summer. Yeah, I'm like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna lounge around in? I mean, should I just keep them, like, not put them away? Because I, I typically put up all my like warm ups, all my winter stuff. I put it up, and then I just slowly start transitioning into my spring and summer wardrobe. But I thought, oh my god, what am I gonna do without my sweats? So I think I'm just gonna leave them out. Don't think that I can part with my sweats this summer. But anyway, getting back to the tank, yes, super comfortable, size medium, and very, very, very comfortable. Um, I don't wear sports bras underneath underneath these tanks. Um, I have a little sticky bra uh, that I buy from Target. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but it has like that pasty stuff inside, and it just kind of like stays in place, and I live in those things. Like seriously, like I'll buy three or four of them, and you can use them over and over and over again. And the way they're sized is like A, B, C, or D, or double D, um, and I usually do like a C or a D. It just, I guess I've, I've gone back and forth with both sizes. The D, I feel, has more cup, so it kind of covers a little bit more booby. Um, and then the small, the C is a little bit smaller, but I am wearing the C and you can't even tell, like I seriously love those bras. I'll go ahead and link them down below and maybe in one of my videos I'll talk a little bit more about those pasty bras, but I absolutely love them. So anyway, getting back to what I was gonna show you, this is a little tank that I purchased from Athleta. It's a little different um, from the one that I am wearing now. Um, this one is a V and I don't plan on wearing like a sports bra with this because I think it would completely throw the vibe off. Um, so I'll just wear my sticky bra with this. Um, this is cropped, so I think it would look really cute with like a high-waisted skirt or blue jeans. Um, and they do have different colors. They have a white one, a black one, and then this really pretty beigey color. Um, I did buy a size medium. It has plenty of stretch in it. Um, you can work out in these if you choose to, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think it is too cute to work out in. Um, so I'll probably just lounge around in it. And the color's really pretty. So, I mean, if you have a little bit of color for summer, this is perfect. And I think I'm gonna buy the purple one because the purple one's really, really cute. But unfortunately, they did not have a size medium in store, but they do have it online. I also picked up this really cute sports bra and I have the sage color in this. Um, they do have adjustable shoulder straps and you can actually crisscross the back as, if you want. Um, I love, love this. Um, I don't run in these. These do not have enough support. When I do run, my runs are pretty intense, so I need something that's gonna hold my girls in and um, this would not work for me. Um, they are padded and you can take out the little pad from the side if you want. Um, super cute. Um, I've worn these for like Pilates and then I think I've worn my Sage one for spin and I'm, I'm fine with that. But um, yeah, no support. Like if you plan on doing cross training or like running, I would recommend something that has a little bit more support. But I love, love, love this. Their materials, you guys, like in Athleta, they're super, super soft. 
I've never tried Lululemon. I don't have anything in Lululemon and everybody swears by Lululemon. Um, I think I need to try, but I am so hooked on Athleta um, wear. Like I just can't go over to Lulu. I will eventually try um, at, um, Lululemon. Um, I am a fan of Aloe. I do have a few of their leggings. The last ones that I bought from, Lu from Aloe were really cute pink ones. And it was in the color um, it, Parisian pink, I think. And it's like a, a collection of really pretty pink colors. But anyway, so I got that. Um, I'm, I'm all over the map. Okay, and then I also bought, I love shoulder pads, you guys. Like I grew up in the 80s. It was all about the big shoulder pad. I picked up a couple of t-shirts by a brand called Bardot in Neiman Marcus. Very, very good quality t-shirts. However, these do run extremely big. You can style these, you know, um, if you think they're too long, like you can tie them from the front and maybe do like a little elastic and kind of like tie it and then just tuck it in. Or you can just wear them like this, super cute. Just kind of tuck it in from the front of your, um, tuck it in like in your blue jean or your belt or something, but super cute. They have black. This is um, kind of like a beigey color and they have a really pretty camel tan color as well. So I got this one and then I also bought the black one because you gotta have black. Um, so this is the other one. Super nice, very, very well, very well made. And these were uh, $69 each. And what else? I'm gonna show you these shoes last. You guys are gonna love these shoes. They're from Stuart Weitzman. Um, I picked up a really pretty um, blush by Estee Lauder. And I typically stay away from colors like this because I just do. Um, it's bright. It's the Rebellious Rose Limited Edition Packaging uh, Blush. Super pretty, you guys. And I picked it up at Macy's while I was working for Estee Lauder. But how pretty is this color for spring and summer? I absolutely love it. So they also have the lipstick in this, but look at the packaging. How pretty is this packaging? I love it. Super pretty. I don't know if you can tell, but I am wearing, maybe I should put a little bit more on because I don't think that you're gonna be able to tell. If you can see, it's pretty bright. You don't need very much, but. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, it is kind of bright. Like I'm looking in the mirror over here and you can see where it looks a little bright. That's a color. Limited edition packaging, you guys. So get one. So I got that. I'm gonna show you these shoes, you guys. These are so, so stinking cute. So. We were supposed to go to Maui. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but we were supposed to go, um, when was it? Oh my God, I'm like, I'm totally having a brain fart. We were supposed to go, we're in March. We we're supposed to go for my birthday. And the COVID testing, when we were supposed to get the results, didn't work out, whatever, whatever. So my husband canceled everything. So we are aiming to go for our 20th wedding anniversary in June. Si Diosito quiere, I think it's gonna happen this, this time. Um, so anyway, I totally thought these would be perfect for Maui. So again, I was an 80s girl. For you girls that um, remember, you might have been a little younger, but um, when I was like in the ninth grade, it was all about the jelly shoes. Like remember the little jelly shoes and then your feet would get dirty and then you can see the dirt through the, it, it would like mark your feet. <laughs> I remember that would happen to me all the time. Like when I would take my shoe off at the end of the day, like I had like, it looked like I had a tan of dirt on my feet, you know? Um, but I was all about the jelly. I think I had like every single color that you can possibly think of. Okay, so it totally reminds me of my youth. These are the cutest little song sandals ever. How pretty are these by Stuart Weitzman? They have the pearl detail and they're in clear. 
Um, Neiman Marcus only had the black ones and these, but if you get on the Stuart Weitzman website, they have these and I think like a, a pinky color. They have, um, I don't know what other colors, but I think they had like three or four, but Neiman Marcus, like I said, only had the black and this one and these. So I am a six and a half or a seven, but um, I don't think that they have half sizes in these, so I ended up doing a size six and it fits me perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and try them on for you, on for you guys, sorry to me. And please don't judge my, my feet because I have not had a pedicure in a while, but I do moisturize my feet. So let me get up, point the camera down just a little bit. Okay, let me move this. Okay, let me, I think this is, Put it down a little bit more, but these are it. How cute are these guys? Is it like not focusing? It's not focusing. Let me see if I can put my foot up here. Okay. Ay, que batallar. I'm sorry guys. This camera. Okay, so here they are. How cute are these? Super, super cute and very comfortable. Okay, I look, like, I look like a total idiot doing what I'm doing, but I just want you guys to see how pretty these sandals are. Okay, aren't they cute? I think I'm gonna buy, I don't think I'm gonna do the black ones. Or maybe I should do the black ones. Like when I look at these shoes, is that they are very narrow from here. So if you have a really wide foot, which I don't have a wide foot, but it's not narrow, I'm almost afraid that for somebody that has that like wide foot, like I think it would hang out from the sides. But I mean, you'd have to try them on just to make sure. But I absolutely love them. I like the way it looks with this toe color, like it's a light pink. I love them, they're super cute. But yeah, so I bought these. Let me, let me pull the other one up so you guys can see them both. Look how pretty, look at the details of the pearls. How cute are these? So anyway, these will definitely be going with me to um, Maui. And then um, I also got my moisturizer which my husband actually loves too, so we share this. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer for all skin types without sunscreen. This is kind of like my grab and go moisturizer in the day. I purchased two designer shoes that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I think they should be coming in this week. Um, but I had been eyeing these shoes it's like I always say that, like I've been eyeing, I've been eyeing, like no, I mean, yes, I've been eyeing, but you know, it's la maña, like I just, I wanted to have them in my, you know, my wardrobe, so. so. That is it folks, that is my really quick haul for today. Um, I just wanted to share what I purchased. I'll go ahead and link everything down below in case you guys wanna check it out. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.